My name is Anne Louise and I'm from Larkin Tweed Creative and today I'm going to show you how to adjust, save, and then upload your images into Kajabi. Uh, so when you purchase a template it's normal that you're going to want to customize this so that it suits your brand and so in order to do that in when you purchase a template from Larkin Tweed Creative I've really made it so simple so that it's not a complicated process. Every single image that's used on the site is part of a Canva link that you get when you get your instruction PDF after purchase. So in the instruction PDF you would have at the top a few instructional videos including this one and then right below that you've got these links, these four links, uh, it might be more depending on what you purchase, um, you'll get links that will open a template in Canva and so you want to make sure that you have uh, Canva Pro preferably. I do try to choose free images but I know that um, Canva sometimes changes what they make free and then what they make pro and so that can switch and so I don't have much control over that. So I do recommend Canva Pro. It also allows you for so much more flexibility uh, in different areas for what you need to do. So I would highly recommend it and I'm not an affiliate. I'm just saying that because it makes life so much easier using Canva Pro and it's uh, fairly affordable. So I would say that the first thing you want to do is you want to take a look at the template and then download all of the images all at once. You want to add all of those links to your Canva account and then it'll look like this. You'll get uh, three image, different image size templates and then a logo. And so you can switch out the logo however, however you want. You can keep the same or you can put your own logo in here. Um, and also each file includes a little style guide at the top uh, so that if you want to change colors and so forth you can make those adjustments. But that's a separate video. Uh, as in regards to images, all of the images are properly labeled. The wide rectangles are typically for the header or hero image images used within either the site or the sales page that you've purchased or it can be for other sections of the site as well. Uh, sometimes it's for backgrounds. Uh, the square images typically have background option images uh, and also uh, different your PNG graphics that you, you're going to use uh, and the tall graphics are usually more for like the images like the coach images and other images that are part of sections with text next to it so that's kind of how it's formatted and everything is labeled so it's really easy to find what goes where but today we're going to focus on we're going to upload a hero image and we're also going to upload a uh, like a square image as a PNG so that because uh, those are two different styles they're also in two different areas of the website so if we go back to Kajabi for a second here I have this image and it's overlaying over top of another image and how does that work well this image it is part of a widget within the section but the background image with the leaves that's actually part of the background so these are very different but ultimately very easy to it's the same kind of process to replace so we'll start with the background image. Now we have this, let's say this is what you purchased and you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know if this image is what I want here. Perfect. So I would suggest within also your instructional PDF, you do have an area called resources where I give you links to all of these different royalty free image banks. And what that allows you to do is that there's no copyright on these images, you can use them and you don't have to pay for them. So it makes it so much easier and so much quicker. So and also I find the images to be very artistic as opposed to sometimes using some of the stock image companies. Um, it can look very stocky and a lot of people might have used those images before you where these images tend to be a little bit more artistic and unique. It's a great place to find images. Um, so I kind of scroll to a section of images that I've downloaded in the past and um, just to show you. So you'll notice that depending which template you purchased the background image uh, within Canva might have a different treatment. So I might have edited the photo. Uh, there might be some transparency, like this one is 30%. There might be a color overlay over top of the image, or the image might have some transparency and it's overlaying in front of a background. So you want to make sure that you kind of like move things around, click on things just to see like, okay, how is this set up? Once you verify that. Let's say you have a color, like for Freya, for example, it'll have a color overlay. You'll just move down the the, the overlay and you'll have the image behind it and that'll allow you to, for whatever image you want to put there, you're going to add it on top. And the reason it's set up this way, I mean there's different ways to do it, but the reason it's set up this way, typically I'll use overlays or transparencies um, 
or editing editing like the colors and so forth because it allows the image to be a little bit more monotone therefore once you put it in a background the text will still read really clearly over top now let's say we use this image here and we say okay this looks all right i, I kind of like that um, and then you can double click on it and then move it around maybe i move it up a little bit maybe i move it down let's say it's right here and maybe I don't want it this transparent. Maybe I want to make it like, hmm, how about 50? Okay, perfect. Let's say that I love this. This is what I'm going to use. Then you're going to download it. So this is important. So you would click on share and you go to download file type. For this type of image, you don't need any transparency. You'll always choose JPEG when you don't need transparency. And I'll explain that once we go into the PNG um, area of this video, I'll explain that deeper. But for JPEG, we'll cl click on this. You don't need to change the size and you don't need to change the quality. We're going to select only this page. So unselect everything and the current page is page two. So I will select that done download. So that will take only a moment to download. Now let's jump into downloading a PNG and then I'm going to upload both images at, at once. So let's go to the square. So typically no matter which template you purchase in the square, you will have some graphics that look like this and you want to make sure, first of all, I mean, I've set this up correctly, but just check for yourself and you can click the background. If it looks like this color wise, that means it is transparent. And these graphics, I use them from Canva. So if you wanted to change it to something else, um, you would just go into elements and maybe type in the type of graphic that you would like and then download it and just drag and drop it and replace it just the way that we did with the other um, with the hero image. Now, Downloading this type of image is different because you want it to be transparent. You don't want this white box to be around it. So in order to do that, you go to share, you go to download, you keep it at PNG, and you're going to click on transparent background. And then we are going to download. So that just takes a few moments. And once that's done, what we're going to do, we're going to go into Kajabi. And we're going to let that image download. So now we already got to the background here and we want to change it. So all you have to do now that you've downloaded it, make sure that you're downloading everything in an area that you're familiar with and that is easy to find. Because once you get to this area and you're going to want to upload a new image, you're going to go to my device. And I mean, I have my... Um, oh yeah, now I see I downloaded the whole thing for some reason. Okay, so we just want this background image for now so we're going to go to downloads and that's where i keep my images typically i'm going to save that i'm going to upload the file and then you're going to see how like keeping that overlay look we have white text and it's still very legible on this background and then the next thing we're going to do is we want to change this graphic out um so it i noticed that it didn't save properly so i'm going to go back to it and I'm going to do this again. So download, transparent, unselect everything, uh -huh. select page nine. I think I had the wrong page selected or I'm not sure what I did, <laughs> but we'll download this like that. Make sure you have transparent clicked. Otherwise it will have a white box around it. You don't want that. It's okay. Yeah, so this is the right image. It's downloaded, perfect. And so now I'm gonna click on this and see how this graphic, this, you know, this whole area has a background, but I'm specifically changing this image. So then you actually go into that image and you'll go select image, upload new file, my devices. And then I would click on this and I would say open and it would replace it. I'm not gonna actually do it, but basically you want it to be transparent because look, it's overlaying the image a little bit. It's going over the text. And if the background, let's say is not white, um, you wouldn't want to have like a big white box around it, right? So. And that type of graphic is totally fine if it um, is uh, if it is a PNG, like it's not going to be as heavy. Whereas like an image like this, where you see the corners here, we'd want that to maybe be transparent, but you would still save that as a JPEG because the background is white. So even if these corners are white, the background is white, so you wouldn't be able to tell. And you'll save a lot of, like the file won't be as big and as heavy, and that's really important as well. Let's look at a preview of how this looks with this new background image. And so there you go. This is how it looks. And so it can completely change the look of your, of your design. So if you bought this template 
and you really want to like change it up, this is totally an option. And having that overlay really allows you some flexibility. So if you have any questions about this or if you want to explore this deeper, please don't hesitate to add your comment in the comment section below. And thank you so much.